On the morning of January 10th, 2017, a truck carrying a mobile car crusher on northbound I-465 in Indianapolis crashed into the Rockville Road Bridge, destroying four load-bearing girders and closing a major thoroughfare to the Indianapolis 500, an event that brings over a quarter of a million people to Indianapolis every year. Facing an emergency situation, the Indiana Department of Transportation turned to Gordian's job order contracting solution to expedite demolition and reconstruction ahead of race day. I didn't really know how bad the damage was with my own eyes until I got into the office and saw some photos from the news and uh, immediately we could see it was bad. The southernmost three beam lines were completely destroyed. The concrete was completely shattered and gone. There was a little bit of rebar cage left. The pre-stressing strands were all severed in those three beams. And then the fourth beam line in was badly damaged as well. The uh, first four beams on the south end of the bridge had been sheared through from the impact of the crusher, which had broken a substantial amount of the reinforcing tendons that hold the beams in the air. And so we knew right away that there's no fix in those beams. Those beams had to be replaced. So then we could shift our effort on how do we get the old bad stuff removed so we could get traffic back open on 465. And we knew there's no way traffic was going to be on the eastbound lanes of Rockville Road. This is not the first time NDOT's had these type of events, and I've been front and central on a lot of them. And one of the issues right away is how is our contractor going to get paid? How, who are we going to use? Fortunately, we had been doing IDIQ or job order contracting with our contractor, Reith Riley, and this was a good way to be able to mobilize a contractor quickly. They were on site within a couple hours, and we were able to start the discussions on what needed to be done. And having that job order contracting available kind of gave us a framework to start with. Since they are our job order contractor, we already had a relationship established, and so right from the get-go, we we're all on the same team. In this project, the scope was truly developed as a team effort. It was the perfect three-legged stool between Gordian's input and guidance, INDOT's knowledge and experience, the contractor Reith Riley's knowledge and experience, as well as the design professional that INDOT brought in. I'd say probably within an hour to two hours of the incident, we were on site meeting with INDOT to determine how to get the road back open. I really had no sense of how long it would take when I first saw it. We were hopeful that we'd be able to get something done you know, within a couple days. Within a couple hours they had started the demolition process and then once we got preliminary removal limits established, Reith Riley had their larger demolition crews uh, mobilized by that evening to really start the, the heavy removal. Our original plan, I think, calls for three or four days of possible closure. The JOT contract gave us that existing the relationship to be able to respond and get out there quicker, and it was actually opened within about 36 hours of the incident. As we got further into the process, we knew we were going to use the job order contracting for the first part. The second part was to replace the four beams. Procurement would have taken three to six months just getting beams. That was unacceptable to us. Concrete beams of that length are not common, so there was a decent amount of lead time that NDOT worked on procuring that on the front end. So we were able to uh, use this contract to immediately go into procurement of the beams. By using job order contracting, we were almost in a design build sort of mode where the contractor was able to work on some critical path items as uh, plans were still being developed to put things back together. We have a little race in Indianapolis every May, so we really wanted to see, was this even possible to get this bridge back open again before the race? And once things started falling into place, it became apparent that we might have a shot. Luckily, things fell into place. As a matter of fact, we got the bridge open by the beginning of May. Our job order contracting allowed us to get that bridge fixed and reopened a lot more quickly than our traditional methods. I think by utilizing the job order contract, we were able to easily save two to three months. Because of their exceptional use of job order contracting, both the Indiana Department of Transportation and Reith Riley Construction were honored with the 2017 Harry H. Mellon Award of Excellence in Job Order Contracting. This was a case where something had to happen quickly and we were able to pull out all the stops and go get it. And being a construction guy, that's what you love.